Self-censorship is the greatest threat we have to free speech at the moment, not, not the cancellers. They're kind of out there, we can see them. It's the, it's the impact it has, the chilling effect of making people go, do you know what, maybe I won't say that. What it amounts to in many instances is either the kind of lurid imaginings that you kind of are dragged into church and, and you say, I think I might be gay and people are beating you. And so it could be that that religious illiteracy means that people imagine things happening in churches just aren't happening. But also because there's a lack of understanding that some people might voluntarily, through their own autonomy, make a decision, give their consent to feeling uncomfortable about a sexuality um, that they feel goes against their religious faith. And people just can't get their heads around that. And, and, and I think that, and I can get my head around that, because I understand that there will be people who will go to prayer groups and say, pray that I stop having these feelings. Or can you help me with these difficult feelings that go against my faith? I mean, I think they're bonkers and they should get out of the church. That's my view, right? But that's not the point, is it? The point is, it's not up to me to tell people what they should believe or what their faith should tell them. It's up to them to decide that. And if they want to go and join a, uh, go on a retreat and join a prayer group, if they want to raise the problems they're feeling, I mean, it might not be that they're being prayed over or whatever, but if they want to say, I feel conflicted, and somebody talks to them sympathetically about what the church says what the Bible says. That's their doctrine in their church. And if they're part of that, we should let them get on with it. Um, that's as simple as that. The reason why it's not being touched by people in the parliamentary estate, either the commons or the lords, I think, is because they're so frightened of being called bigots. I mean, it's the worst thing. And it is horrible. I mean, to have the bigotry word thrown at you can be career devastating. But personally, one's reputation matters. You know, I don't, um, I, I had a lot of this around Brexit. I mean, I was horrified. There I was, a kind of Radio 4 lovey, you know, a bit of a lefty, doing the moral maze, on the moral maze for 20 years, and, you know, kind of a bit cranky, as people understood it, but all right. And because they discovered that I was going to vote leave, you know, I overnight started to be dubbed as an alt-right xenophobic racist. And I'd been an anti-racist all my Adult, you know, it was, I was involved in anti-racism activity for years and donkeys. I mean, it was horrible. And you wanted to kind of say, I mean, what do you do? You go, I'm not, an, I'm not a racist. And immediately you feel defensive that you're even saying it. I mean, I don't think that foreigners are terrible. I mean, I'm not saying, and you're in this impossible position. So of course, if somebody says to you, so you're anti-gay, so you're a bigot, you're homophobic, you're transphobic, because that's so contentious now, everybody kind of knows that that label of transphobic is at least a bit ambivalent. But some of the other labels, if people hear that you're homophobic, they're going to run a mile. If they think you're doing a Clause 28, which is the, the code for saying, oh, the state are going to try and stop any kind of positive uh, uh, um, depiction of people who are gay, regardless of whether what that, that was what... Uh, um, that was about in the first place. But nonetheless, people are terrified of that label. And so they keep their head down. Self-censorship is the greatest threat we have to free speech at the moment, not, not the cancellers. They're kind of out there, we can see them. It's the, it's the impact it has, the chilling effect of making people go, do you know what, maybe I won't say that, maybe I'll abstain, maybe I won't be in that day, maybe I'll just kind of sit there and hope it goes away. Yeah, there's a lot of it about.